Well, you just said, you know, one of the key words, I love hearing the stories about the obstacles. And I think that our listeners do because it's usually in the obstacles. It's in the, it's in the, I don't want to call them failures, but in learning the ways not to do something um, (laughs) that we get stronger. And that's kind of, you know, some of those stories help. So, you know, go back and, and hit some of the big ones that you guys have been through the years and then talk about what did, you know, what were the stories and how did they, how did the family overcome them? Sure. I mean, uh, obviously the most recent, which I'll get into eventually, but I look back and, and, you know, the most recent pandemic that my father and my brother and myself have gone through, I mean, I'm sure, you know, it's, it's like beating a dead horse, uh, uh, talking about this thing. Yeah. Just because we have to, again, you know, coming through motivation. And one of the things that was, we were able to motivate, uh, stay motivated through that was we, we talked a lot about on a daily basis. Imagine what, you know, we would say things like, imagine what, you know, I would say to my father, dad, imagine what your grandfather went through during prohibition when they said he couldn't sell alcohol. Uh, Imagine what he went through during world war II. Uh, career, you know, all these things that really, I mean, the gas crisis, the, the, you know, it, it, we weren't going to feel sorry for ourselves, um, you know, and, and, and a lot of, sadly, a lot of people have in the last, you know, three or four years, they felt, I mean, you know, and there's, there's really no, I, I'm not judging because there's been a lot of good friends that have lost their businesses and, and, you know, they've had to, you know, shutter things that have been, you know, businesses that have been around for a hundred years, but you look at those stronghold companies, especially in Rochester that have gone through so much over the last hundred years. I mean, we still have a lot of businesses, um, you know, and, and again, we weren't going to feel sorry for ourselves. We were going to, you know, come in if my father, myself, and my, we didn't miss. And I, like, I, I don't want to, we, we hang our hat on this. You know, in, in 50 years, when I'm talking to my grandkids, I'm going to feel proud that I said I did not miss one day of work in, you know, the three years, you know, and I, and, and again, it's like the people before us, my grandmother, her brother, they didn't miss it either. Um, you know, it's just, and that's where, like, that's our foundation. You know, bread is our foundation, but um you know, that's what we always say. The dough is what started this whole thing. But um, just just um, we're going to hang our hat on the fact that we just kind of trudged through and, and got through it, you know. That's awesome. And it, it, it's the, the, the Dunkin Donuts, as soon as you said what you were saying, the Dunkin Donuts commercial from years ago, time to make the donuts, time to make the bread. We just do, you know, it's this is what this is what we do. We chose this life. We want to do it. Let's make it happen. Come heck or high water. Good for you.